Hey Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have 27 bread and butter bolos coming your way. Bread and butter bolos are items that I sold for $35 or less on eBay. And I pick these items up at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, Facebook marketplace. Um, and I bought them low and I sold them for a decent profit. Um, these are not my big money bolos. These are my bread and butter. So I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. And the first item is this Girl Scout sash. And some of these are dated 98. Some of them are 2000. So not super, super old. Um, there's patches on the front and the back. I picked this up at a thrift store in a bag of um, what I thought was Girl Scout items. But there was a stack of patches on the inside that had nothing to do with Girl Scouts. So I have done really well on this lot. So I took a best offer on this of $19 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this play school. You can see it's written on her back. It's a dollhouse figure. She's a doctor. And I sold her for $16, the buyer paid shipping. And that was just a bulk buy of uh, dollhouse items. This is a CC Sky bangle cuff bracelet. I got this in my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. You can see it is signed on the inside. Definitely always look for signed pieces. Sometimes you have to look for the signature. Um, let me see, I'll do a zoom. And I just included that in my title. I did take a best offer of $20 on this and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Lego Friends. Um, this was a Facebook marketplace buy and it was um with the new shipping um so now you can sell on facebook marketplace and offer shipping it's kind of like a new marketplace um i have sold one thing that way and i have about 10 things over there but i just can't get into it yet so maybe eventually but uh i was offered a ten dollar off of my purchase and free shipping. So I ended up getting like six or seven Lego sets for like $25. And I was like, I can totally resell these. So this set, I ended up taking a best offer of $22. And this is one of the other sets that I sold for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. And I think I still have like five sets um, listed. So I will definitely profit from this. Um, the next item I sold is this vintage 1991 Care Bear. It's love a lot. And you can see it's got the vintage face. Super cute. Um, I got this at a garage sale for 50 cents and I sold it for $28 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Schaefer pen. Um, this was actually my husband's listing. I'm not sure if he picked this up or if I did, I usually give him any pens that I find. Um, because that's kind of something he knows more about than me. And he sold this for $19.26 and the buyer paid shipping. This was a very long tail item. So this may have been one that I picked up because he's uh, he's usually a bolo finder. <laughs> the next item I sold is this vintage wood liqueur Russian pin brooch. It's signed and hand painted. It's really, really neat. Um, I have two of these listed. One came out of my bulk buy. One came from a thrift store. I can't remember which one this is, but I probably paid a dollar or less for it. And that one, I ended up taking a best offer of $16 and the buyer paid shipping. So this Celine EDT spray perfume, I sold this a best offer of $20, the buyer paid shipping. I pick perfumes up at thrift stores, garage sales, you name it. Um, I usually pay a dollar or less. The next item I sold, I picked up at an estate sale. It's a vintage Winnie the Pooh boys outfit. It is adorable. Um, I'm guessing maybe it was handmade. It is so, so cute. But it had some, some staining issues. But um, overall, probably for its age, it was in great condition. I thought this was going to be a big money bolo. But I ended up only selling it for $25 on best offer and the buyer paid shipping but I only paid a couple bucks for it. So definitely great margins, but I was hoping it was going to sell for more. The next item came from, I want to say this came out of a mystery box, but um, maybe I got it at a thrift store. I'm pretty sure it was a mystery box, but it was still sealed. It's new old stock. It's a Barbie vintage puzzle. And I ended up taking a best offer for $20 and the buyer paid the shipping. 
The next item is this vintage artisan brutalist lapel pin. It's a really unique, cool piece. And I am so bad with titles and the word brutalist, I never would have known to use that word. And I messaged Moonstone Mamas and I'm like, what do you think about this piece? And she said, put brutalist in the title. So I did, and this sold really fast. I took a best offer of $15. The buyer paid shipping, and this came from my, I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay, bulk buy. Um, if you're not following Moonstone Mamas, definitely go check her out. She has a great channel, and her main focus is jewelry. The next item I sold is this Christopher Radko Shiny Bright Bottle Brush Set. This also came out of a mystery box. And I sold this for $14.04 and the buyer paid the shipping. Um, I talked about these in another video. They are called Small Soldiers. Um, they sell pretty quickly and they do have a following. Um, I figured out what these were by using Google Lens and the same person bought these. So I sold them for 15 each. So the buyer was all in for $30 and they paid the shipping. So definitely be on the lookout for these. Um, I would search eBay or Google and just put in small soldiers and um, get familiar with what they look like because they, they do sell quickly, at least in my experience. The next item I sold is this Napoli 1944, oh gosh, I don't even know, Anzio Casino Rome uh, Silver Tone Bracelet. And you can see it is not in great condition. It's got some tarnish or yellowing. I'm not even sure what I would call that. But comps looked good on this. So I went ahead and started it out on auction. And it ended up going up to $19.50 and the buyer paid shipping. This came out of my Dibble box that I purchased from Donatella Bottolino's auction. Um, I have a whole video on it. I unboxed the stuff. I listed every single item, almost every single item. I tell you about that in the video. And then at the end of the video, I show you the eBay listings individually, what I listed the item for, and I tell you exactly what I expect to make off of this box. And I will tell you, I've already sold probably eight, maybe nine items. I've made my money back plus a profit. And I think there were 44 or 45 total listings, but I talk about all of that in the video. Definitely go check it out. If you're looking for inventory, YouTube auctions are a great place to source. There's tons, um, but I purchased this dibble box, which is a reseller's box, basically. It's a dibble bit of this and a dibble bit of that. And um, Donatella Bottolino and auctions for you. I've got links down in the description of the video if you guys want to go check it out. But definitely check out my dibble box video. And then um, I paid 110 for the dibble box. And I told her, I said, just round it up to 150 and send me like $40 worth of jewelry. So I have another video where I unbox the $40 worth of jewelry, which I ended up doing really well with. Um, I was super excited with how it turned out. But it's funny because you watch the video and I'm just kind of throwing stuff to the side. And I got quite a few comments about how rough I was with the jewelry and it's because my ring light was in front of me and I was just trying to um unbox it so anyhow great treasures I didn't know what I had until I talked to Moonstone Mamas and she's like oh my gosh that piece is great and, <clears throat> excuse me and what I do is I put clips of Moonstone Mamas into the video explaining some of the different jewelry pieces to help you guys learn and um, she definitely helped me learn. And now I know how to list this stuff. So definitely go check out the Dibble Box video and the jewelry video. I think you guys will be totally impressed. And you're definitely wanna, gonna wanna go check out those auctions. The next item I sold also came out of that Dibble Box. Um, it was the $110 Dibble Box. And this item I put on auction and it sold for $24.99 with two bids. And it is a... Um, it's a money clip. It's a vintage money clip. And I have another one listed from the box also. So I'm hoping to get the same amount or not, if not more. Um, so yeah, $24.99 plus shipping. The next item that sold are these vintage baby swim. Oh my gosh. Do you see what I wrote? I wrote shirts. 
What on earth just happened? Why on earth did that happen? That was odd. That was really weird. Okay, I don't know what just happened. It went, it like started going to eBay Partner Network, which I didn't click anything, I don't think. Anyhow, I put the wrong word. I put shirts, swim shirts. It was a typo or autocorrect. Either way, I just sold these. I got great feedback. They said how great of condition they are in and they were really happy. But uh, these came from a garage sale and I paid a dollar for them and they are adorable. Um, they're really tiny. I think they're like for a baby. But I sold these for a best offer of $10 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage Coro brooch. And this came from my, I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay, bulk buy jewelry lot. I sold this for $20 and the buyer paid the shipping and it's a really neat piece. Um, and I've got it measured here and you can see it's signed on the back. The next item I sold is, are these Minnie Mouse Disney Parks headband. This came out of a mystery box and I sold this for $11.99 and the buyer paid shipping. So probably less than a dollar in that. The next item I sold are these Lou LaRoe pants. And I know how everybody feels about this brand. So I just had to share this one. Um, I thought that these were going to do well because they had Minnie Mouse on them. Uh, they have been sitting forever. Somebody offered me 15 bucks and I was like sold. So I got these at a garage sale for like a dollar and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Coca-Cola quartz watch. It came from a thrift store. I paid a dollar for it and it sold pretty quickly for $32 and the buyer paid shipping. And I'm pretty sure it was new old stock because it still had the plastic on the back. But because I bought it from the thrift store and I wasn't sure, I just went ahead and marked it as pre-owned. My husband did put a battery in it for me and it was in working order. The next item I sold is this vintage spoon. It also came out of my dibble box from Donatella Bottolino. I sold this best offer of $8 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold are these, I think it's pronounced Zobe Junior Dump Truck Building Set. And you can see it's got the instruction cards and you interconnect the pieces to build things. And I sold this for $19.99. The buyer paid shipping and I picked this up for $2 at a thrift store. The next item I sold is this picture frame. It came in a mystery box. This is nothing I would ever source, um, but I had it and it was in the mystery box and I was like, I think it'll sell and it actually sold really quickly. And I sold it for $10 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold are these clip-on earrings. They are vintage, they are denim and they are I think they're very cool. I don't know, would those be like 80s, you think? 70s, 80s, probably 80s, right? Super funky. They sold for $16, the buyer paid shipping, and I got these at a garage sale for a quarter. All right, you guys, that concludes my bread and butter bolo video. Let me know what you thought. Let me know maybe your favorite bolo, but definitely leave me a comment. You can even just say, I made it to the end of the video just put a comment down there, hit that thumbs up, check out one of the videos that's getting ready to pop up and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.